In this training video, we'll be talking about the different ways our schedulers can get a high-level view of the service requests in USCED. The most basic view is the list of service requests, which can be found under the Requests menu. There are a few options here that we can use to control the scope of the requests that are displayed. Each row in this view represents a single service request, and the columns show different information about the request, such as the names of the service providers that are assigned to it. By hovering the mouse cursor over the service request ID number, USCED displays a pop-up window with more detailed information about that request. While this service request screen can be useful, most schedulers would prefer to work within a view that shows these service requests in a more visual way. A good view for schedulers to use would be the compact one-day view, which can be found under the scheduling menu. In this view, we have all of the unassigned service provider slots at the top in pink and all of the assigned service providers below that. We can also see the full 24-hour period starting from midnight on the left side to midnight on the right side. The darker gray area in the middle of the day, those are our business hours. The service requests are shown in different colors, with yellow indicating to be filled service provider slots, green indicating filled assignments, and red indicating canceled billable assignments. By hovering the mouse cursor over any of these assignments, we get a pop-up window with some details about that assignment. All this information, as well as other details about this compact one-day view, can be found in the manual. We also have something called the side-by-side one-day view. This can be found under the scheduling menu as well. For this view, the time of day is shown on the vertical axis and the service providers are shown as columns. Each assignment here is shown as a service request box. One trick to be aware of is that you can hold down the shift key and move the mouse wheel to make the web browser scroll horizontally instead of vertically. This works in most browsers on a Windows PC. Another way to get this view would be to use the calendar icon in the menu bar. After you select a date in the calendar that pops up, you'll be taken to this view for that date. Next, I would like to show you the seven-day view. This view can also be found under the scheduling menu. Using this view, we can see what's going on one week at a time. The assignments are shown in chronological order from top to bottom. Clicking on any one of the days of the week button at the top of the columns takes you to the one-day view for that particular day. Another view we have is called the 35-day view. Select this option from the scheduling menu. Using this view, we can see some high-level statistics for a five-week period. The numbers shown for each day include the total number of service requests, the total number of service provider slots, and the number of service provider slots that do not have a service provider assigned. There are many other numbers that may be displayed for each day in this view. For more information on these numbers, you can visit the manual. For most of the views we've seen, there are some common filter options. These include the date, 
a limit to group filter, a limit to group member filter, a limit to service provider filter, and you can also filter by keywords. For example, if we wanted to only see the service requests that have the word pizza in it somewhere, we would type that into the filter terms box and hit the update options button. This concludes the training on the different kinds of scheduling views.